Welcome back to All Access Cape Cod. Now, if you're jonesing for a caffeine fix, I think we're at the ideal place. We're at Seven Beans Coffee on Route 28 in West Yarmouth, and here is the lady in charge. Denise, thank you for letting us hang out today. Sure. Now, what are some of the, the unique flavors people are going to find at Seven Beans? Basically, our coffee is based out of, um, it's a caribou coffee, which is based out of Minnesota. They're the second largest specialty roaster, so we got the rights to brew their coffee, the only one in New England. So you can come and get espresso, mochas, uh, lattes. It's, you know, the coffee is priced at the same as, um, you know, our competitors, and it's a higher quality product. Now, do you have any signature drinks? We do. We are t uh, starting right now with the Grasshopper iced coffee, which is your chocolate and mint with iced coffee served mm. with cream. Very good. Mm. And then we have the frozen mint mochas, and we also have the frozen lattes. Wow. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Now, in looking around, you've also got a pastry display. If people yes. want to come in for a snack in addition to coffee. We have the muffins, uh, pastries, scones, biscottis, which are... Um, basically supply from a bakery outside of Boston and some are also baked in house. Mm -hmm. Now Denise, you're a native to Cape Cod? Yes. Yes. Where'd oh, you grow up? West Yarmouth. Went through all the school systems. Now my kids are going through the school systems. So it's nice to have a local business here on the Cape. Yes. Many people come in and they think that we're a franchise the way that decor and how it's set up, but it's privately owned. Myself and I have a business partner and Caribou Coffee was just, we were lucky enough to get the rights. We're not a franchise of them. We just have the rights to brew their coffee. So we are privately owned local, local Cape Codders. One of it is basically to come in, sit, relax. You can use your Wi-Fi. Um, people have the meetings. We have two meeting rooms. Um, one's a little bit Less informal, people will go in there and have um, job interviews or a book club, and then we have a more formal one that you can sit and uh, have the conference table and utilize it, whatever you need. Um, there's no charge for the conference rooms, it's basically just come in, book it, and buy the product. That's terrific. Now, obviously, you put a lot of work into this building. This building's got a little bit of history on Cape Cod. Tell us about that. Most people that come in um, remember the bank which is why we have the drive through because the bank used to have a drive through so we kind of get grandfathered in. So that's, everyone comes in, and they're like, oh, I'll have a withdrawal. I'm like, I only take, you know, deposits. <laughs> and then it was the radio station, which I understand was your office right over there in our drive through area. Yes, yes, my little yeah. itty-bitty office. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we still have the safe. That's the biggest question is where's the vaults? And we still have that. It stores our coffee, so. Well, it seems appropriate if you're exactly. the only folks in New England that can serve this coffee that you should keep it in a bank vault. Absolutely. <laughs>